Okay, so it's the uh, 25th of November 2020, a little bit uh, after 9.30 p.m. Uh, I'm sleeping throughout most of the day. Um, so I thought I'll just make a video doing this thing. <laughs> Why do I do that? Uh, um, do this my pastime. It's been my pastime. I actually, I'm actually thinking. I was thinking of going to Albury, which is like where is Albury? It's a country town. It's a country town here in New South Wales. So this is, I can use this function, the satellite. Oh, look at that! Just look at like, just look at this, all this red stuff here. That's the desert, the Gibson Desert Nature Reserve, Simpson Desert Regional Regional Reserve. If you go in, like, I mean, it's people actually live here. There are some places where people actually live in these deserts. Uh, let's see. What is this? Oh, there's an airport. Look, there is an airport. Oh, there are people living here. <laughs> yes, there are people. Finn K Seventh Day Adventist Church. What is it? Like a dump access? Are cars look people are living in an airport right in the uh, look at the desert this there are people actually living there um let's see what's in here oh yes there is something happening here what is this yep houses I see houses People are living is that a swimming pool? <laughs> oh look, they even got a sports Ulara sports ground oval. It might be a cricket. Let's look at it. People are living right in the middle of the desert. Oh look, it's, it's got a very two of these things here. That's it. Oh look, our Ayers Rock Airport. Where's the deal? Where's this stuff? Is that a river? Oh, it's a lake. Oh my goodness, I can't believe there's a lake here. In the middle of the desert. There must be some kind of a spring or something. Ooh, when we expand out, look how small that gets. I can hardly see it. So this is northern. See these dot 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 things? That's the boundary. This is Western Australia, obviously quite big. And if you see like most of the people live near the coast where you can get these green parts. This is called a Great Australian Bight. So even in Western Australia people live right here because this part is all desert. The only place where the desert is like in the Alice Springs right in the middle. I think that's just sort of a maybe a symbolic thing. <laughs> This is South Australia. This is New South Wales. See, New South Wales here, it goes like that. And this is Queensland. Right? Queensland is pretty big. Obviously, the Western Australia is the biggest. South Australia, Tasmania. Let's. Uh, so, where was Albury? Albury was here, right? Uh, no, that's not Albury. Uh, Albury must be somewhere around here. And over is close to the Melbourne uh, border. So anyway, so the, 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 this is this called the Snowy Mountains over here. This area is called the Snowy Mountains. It's uh, like it actually snows in here. <laughs> 
in this part of Australia because it snows. It is. This is apparently the largest peak in Australia, Mount Kosciuszko. Uh, all the views here. Come on. Before, let me just uh, turn the satellite thing off. Uh, a minute. Oh, there is Albury. Yeah, it's 100 plus. This is Albury. So, this is Kosciuszko, and Albury is here. Uh, anyway, so, um, It looks red, bro. There was this kind of a uh, thing where the uh, years ago where this there was a like a snow slide, or some avalanche, and, and people died. And there's this guy who was like one lone survivor. That's this. Okay, that's there. So um, I was looking at I forgot is his name, Jim Darbine. Uh, Another one called. Uh, look, here's Snowy Mountains Airport. Snowy Mountains Airport. With a satellite. Oh, that's how it looks like. Snowy Mountains Airport. And Come on, is that the maximum you can get? Anyway, so. There's a city called. Uma, yeah, that's the one. Hey. See, um... Wow, that looks really nice. It's a nice looking house. This, this, like, uh, this is, this area is in the Snowy Mountains as well. What? It's only 4.30 for a four bedroom house. Wow. Yeah. Really, really nice. What is that? Uh, okay. So the way to get to here is obviously to catch the airport. Excuse me, and you can drive and uh, yeah. Let me see if I put the maximum to three hundred. Oh shit! Uh, wait a minute. Oh, there you go. Uh, there's at least one place in here. Look at that. That's uh, 240. Something I can afford. Uh, yeah, this is something I could afford. It, it looks like a very nice place. I can. I wouldn't mind living in there. And here, which is close to the, the <coughs> mountains, anyway. What is this? Uh, what's this? Summer rental per week. Summer rental. <laughs> you know, this is like people probably buy property here, like a second house, or like a vacation home. So they come here for the winter because the winter is like, uh, you know, it's snowy and you know, it's like a vacation. Um. So. 12 month 275 per week. That's okay. What? I don't know. It looks like it's some kind of a. Like a. What do you call it? A unit? Oh, it's an apartment. Oh, it's like it overlooks the lake. Ah, fully furnished. I don't like the fully furnished one. It's an oval. Oh, this is a lake. This is the lake. It's called the Snowy River. Snowy River. I heard like Australian literature. Unit 2. This is a unit. And uh, what is this? Summer lease. Again, this must be one of those holiday homes. Uh, you can, uh, what is this? This is a 
Widow's Creek. Widow's Creek, okay. What is this? Uh, what is this? This is like a unit. Holy fight. Oh, God. You know, I thought I found much more uh, property around here. Mm, what is this? Oh, yeah, maybe this is the sort of one I found. Go to the list <laughs> list version uh, uh, I could go to that there are 62 okay now this is 185 wait a minute where is this oh no this is the wrong place um, no way out is it? Oh, see this is 220. Oh, that's the one we saw. This is in a place called Bad Blue. This is an apartment. It's very fly. This is a three bedroom house. So I could rent, I could rent this house in, um, oh, is it furnished? Don't tell me it is furnished. It might be furnished. Oh, there you go, fully furnished house. <sighs> Um, oh yeah, I was looking at this. This is like 280 per week, a little bit more than what I want to pay. But look at this, it's got this, it's got tiles, I mean like a polished floor, I mean, you know, the wood floor. This is reasonable, three bedroom family home. See, there are no, it's not furnished. I'm just nice. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so. Where is it? Oh, so it's around here. Uh, sort of, I guess this is in, still in the snowy mountain area. Because if I search for it, this whole area, this area, I guess, is the snowy mountain. So it's an interesting place. Yes. So that's one part of Berry but then I was actually one. I feel like I'm all feel feel like I feel bad because I'm always searching for the cheapest apartments. It just it just lets me know I don't have any money and I'm like it's bringing all these negative feelings in me. <laughs> See the good thing about LB is like the there's an airport. Yep, there's the airport. Let's put the satellite view. Oh, that's how it looks like. There's the airport. And, uh, that's pretty botanic garden. Uh, okay. See, it's not, it's not too expensive. If I even bring it down at 250. I can get relatively okay places. This is like something I can afford. 
No. For 175, I can afford that. I can afford that. And another thing I have to consider, which I, uh, which I do consider, but I haven't really talked about, is my food. Elderberry. I need something else organic. I need to get organic food. And apparently, these this shop is like uh, somewhere located near Elderberry Woodenger's favorite organic grocery store. So that's good, uh, because. Where am I going to get my organic food? Uh, available in the shop. Wait a minute. Week 47. So this is like seasonal, I guess the... Hmm. So I guess you better get it when it arrives and stuff. But this is like cucumber. I need tomatoes. I think I can can. I don't need beans. I eat potatoes are like a staple of my diet. Onions I need. Broccoli I need. I don't really need avocado. I need zucchini, carrots, bananas. Oh, I would need uh, spinach at least. I would need spinach. Due to market supply issues, changes in the box might happen without notice. You can mix wraps on collection if required. And... Um, yeah, I would like mushrooms or something I eat. I really don't need much more. Oh, cauliflower is something else I eat. So this is at least they have they have a, like an organic shop and there's another so this is one avenue of getting organic food box, small, a food box, cost it, because that's one me, oh this is, I actually use this, this tomato can, I've actually used it, so I, I, I would, I would like to get those, you know, uh, because I, I put that in the, um, you know, instead of the tomato, I put that, so that's one, so it's like, um, where is it located, it's, uh, South Albury. Where is it? Oh, that's South Albury. Hmm. Oh, street. Nurigong Street. Oh, there is Nurigong Street. So it's somewhere around here. I mean, the whole place isn't that large, so... There's other places like Woolworths, right? The Woolworths contains... Woolworths... Uh, so here are... Woolworths... So it's in Albury, there's Woolworths there... There's actually... Uh, okay, so Woolworths, there's actually some, some near it as well... Mm. Yeah, here is also a Woolworths, I, 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 I think. But anyway, so in Woolworths, what can you get in Woolworths? Well, uh, okay, so Woolworths, you can get organic potatoes. See this? I can, I eat either, I like Dutch cream, so I can get that. Then you get organic uh, carrots. So if if that this is another option for me, carrots, organic onions. Yeah, so I can even check. Uh, like for instance, I was doing this yesterday. <laughs> check availability. This is this Albury Central is. In, I think that's in Sydney. But Lavington is close to Elbury. Let's check see it's in stock. So these onions are in stock in Lavington. So um organic broccoli. These they have the frozen broccoli. I, I, I use this now. I've been using this because I because when I was buying the actual broccoli 
there would be days when I wouldn't eat my veggies too and then the broccoli would just go bad. See, it's a stop. This is another place, it's a stop. So, so between this, uh, this, this store and Woolworths and probably there are probably other ways to get there might be other stores which you know are not online or something so that sort of sorts my organic food requirement because that's an important thing so yeah this is sort of what i'm thinking of because it's relatively cheap right uh so i can even like let's say one of the and Uh, it is two forty for a week. Oh, there it's a unit. I'm sort of understanding what's a unit, what's an apartment. I think an apartment. Uh, uh, unit versus apartment. A unit. A unit is a measure of housing which is used to the living group. Huh. A unit has separate utilities while an apartment can have utilities that are shared by the tenants. Uh, oh, this is in somewhere. Where is it? I want to check uh, Australia. How do, how do they regard units in? Oh, look, it's different. Look, in common speech in Australia and New Zealand, the word unit, when referring to housing, usually means an apartment. <laughs> okay. Where a group of apartments is contained in one or more multi story buildings, an apartment block. Okay. Or a villa unit, a home unit, where a group of dwellings is in one or more single story buildings. Okay, what are apartments called in Australia? In Australia, a unit refers to flats, apartments, oh yeah, what? Okay, or even semi-detached houses. In Australia, the terms unit, flat, and apartment are largely used interchangeably. New hires and these are often more, more market apartments as the term flats to carry, <laughs> carries colloquial connotations. Oh. Colloquial, isn't that like a like every day? Is it not, uh, not formal or literary? Okay, what are those connotations? Ah, hmm. uh, what's the difference between a flat and an apartment? We've had flats in Melbourne, where we have apartments where. It is more than, or oh, has it? It is more than a den. Uh, 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 oh man. Okay. Anyway, uh, um, so this unit, see. Apparently it has its own utility. There was a two-bedroom unit. It's a two-bedroom. Oh, all, all the time the thing. No pets. What about the pets? How are the pets going to survive? This is another unit. See, uh, it looks reasonable, you know. Yeah, it's the, it's two fifty. Uh, so reason I'm thinking about Albert's view is mainly because of price considerations. This is another unit. Uh, I need more pictures. Well, they, they should really put. <laughs> so that's two hundred. This is two forty. Mm. 
more pictures, please. That goes to ten. Why is it going weird? Oh, it just most relevant. Oh, please check that. These are these are reasonable. It's two hundred. See. <laughs> Mm, 170, 175, you know, with that kind of uh, thing, I can save money. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think this is uh, this. Uh, this might be the way with the time and village. So I'm thinking of going to Albury, but then I th found out that um, Snowy Mountains. I was thinking, hey, that Snowy Mountains doesn't sound bad. Look, this is this is decent enough for 190 per week, and I've got the wooden floor. Yeah, that looks decent enough. I don't know. This looks kind of weird looking on the outside. This is like one of those things where, you know, you see the movies, it's like a, you know, like a motel. It looks like a motel or something. Is that three bedrooms? I wonder... I feel like some of this might be... I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but every time I see a house that has this brown brick appearance, I feel like that might be like a housing commission house, which they are now renting out. There's nothing, you know, I don't have any problems, but, I mean, you know, it's, it kind of looks kind of drab, but, um... This looks pretty good, it's like... You know, this is 225 per week. So my main reason for considering uh, Albert is because of the... Oh, look at that. That looks pretty nice. Look at the floor. That's only like 230. So, this is the main reason. It's because I can afford it, right? I can afford it. I don't get it. This 250 is like a studio. Uh, I don't know. What is it? New or something? Why is that so expensive? But then let, let me look at this. It's like an actual, like your own space. I don't want to. I want to try and get us to something where it is on the ground, like a house. They even call units a house. Like this is a unit, but it's on the ground floor. You know. So that's what I was thinking. <sighs> Two bedroom unit with solar panels. Cut wooden floor there, except for the bedroom. I need to clean the shower. Hopefully, I can hire someone. Uh, uh, anyway, so that is some of my stuff. What I've been doing.